How are you doing, Pastor Scott? I'm doing fine, Jessica, and you? Not so bad, my brother. Not so bad. You know, I haven't anything to do this lunch hour and our next lecture is at 2 p.m. Oh, I see. Yes, and it so happens that I was talking to Liz, your desk mate, yesterday. Yes. And she told me how you had a strong talk on what the Bible means when it says that women should adorn themselves in modest apparel. Oh, yes. I remember having a discussion with her on that. We all know Lizzie and how she loves to slay etc. She has changed. So, curiosity did kill me and I just had to ask her what happened and she told me all about it and recommended that I could talk to you if I also have any biblical question I need clarity on. Well, if it is to talk about Jesus Christ, I sure have all the time in the world Jessica. Really? Yes, let me cancel all my appointments and attend to your need. I am at your disposal. Use me. Thank you so much, Pastor Scott. No problem. So, what do you want to know? My ears are itching to hear it. Okay, I am troubled with the mystery of what happened in the Garden of Eden between Eve and the snake. Oh, Genesis chapter 3. Oh, you seem to know your Bible very well, Pastor Scott. I see you picked it so quick. It's one of the hottest topics among theologians today though I am not one. I am especially thrilled that you termed it mystery for that is what it surely is. However, one can only catch what transpired back there by divine revelation. Oh, do you think the God of heaven could grant the revelation thereof to such as me also Pastor Scott? I know not Jessica, we serve a sovereign God hence we shall soon find out. Okay, you know what? For years I have been taught and believed that Adam and Eve our first parents ate an apple from the tree in the midst of the garden, and through this act of disobedience the whole world was plunged into sin. Oh, I see. Do you believe it was an apple? To be honest I don't know and I have listened to so many preachers talking about that subject. You know what baffles me Pastor Scott? Tell me. One says it was an apple, another an apricot. And I don't know which fruit you were going to tell me about all saw today. You are very funny. Anyway, to tackle your question, let us establish this that a Bible question must have a Bible answer. Agreed? Agreed. Just to probe before we get deeper. I'm just asking myself where the preachers got the idea that it should be an apple yet there were no apples mentioned in Genesis chapter 2. The Bible only says in Genesis 2 verse 17 that Adam was not to eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And if he ever ate of it he would die. I wonder, what relationship the tree of knowledge of good and evil has with apples or apricots and come to think of it, that tree was a person. That's one mind-boggling issue there Pastor Scott, right who searched in my own Bible and never found it as they put it across. Like you I also wonder where these preachers are taking it from. And worse you also mesmerized me when you said the tree of knowledge of good and evil was a person. Was it? Well, if it be apples we can right away experiment and pass them on to people so we see if they die. And as far as the mystery of the tree is concerned in Job 14 verse 1 it is written, Man that is born of a woman is a few days, and full of trouble. You see as sure as we're born of a woman, we've got to die seeing we taste of her by natural birth. And as sure as we're born of the man, Jesus Christ, we live forever. If you partake of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil you're sure to die. If you partake of the tree of life you're sure to live. I'm kindly asking that you be not quick on the trigger Pastor Scott so I understand. This particular mystery is very crucial to me. I will try quoting scripture by scripture until you catch it by God's grace. For interest's sake why is this subject so crucial to you? Well... The deep within me is calling for it and something within me is telling me that if I catch this particular revelation I too shall be revealed and positionally placed right. That's mighty fine, in case you didn't know. Revelation is divinely given and cannot be taught anyone. I pray that our Lord Jesus Christ would reveal this mystery to you today. Amen. Now, I do not know what shall be your impression of me in the next minute. Nevertheless, just to hit the jugular vein of the matter, I will give you to understand that it was sex or adultery with the serpent that caused the fall of Eve and Adam. It is through that fall that sin came into the world and brought each and every one of us under its curse. What the? Like seriously? I expected that kind of a response. 
in as much as I mentioned it earlier, it seems you didn't catch it. From fruits to a tree being a person and to sex or adultery? I bet it was better for the preachers I have been hearing from to continue talking about their fruit revelation than the doxology you are trying to bring me into Pastor Scott. Forgive me in the way I presented the issue that has troubled you for long. I urge you not to let your reasoning or church theology reject the truth of this trustworthy revelation, but let the Lord Jesus Christ give you understanding even as we get deep into the subject. Pastor Scott, Pastor Scott, Pastor Scott. How many times did I call your name? Three times. You will have to forgive me. I believe at this point I am allowed to have trust issues considering what you just told me. Calm down my sister. I haven't even started and as I said, a Bible question should have a Bible answer. You don't need to remind me. You set that notion and we agreed and boom. You said that tree was a person and as if that was not enough you have brought sex or adultery right into Eden.